today I want to explain to you how you can get a huge amount of views on YouTube with a new strategy. It's a strategy that uh, many of the gurus in the industry of the marketing and social media have been using, but they never told us. And I came across this point and actually I decided that I just have to note it down because this is something that we all have to know if you really want to get views and views and more views. So number one is suggested videos. Now when I talk about suggested videos, I mean just go to your YouTube and uh, on the search button, click there and search suggested kind of views, uh, videos which are basically talking about your niche or area that uh, you're talking about. Maybe if you're talking about a certain thing, how to do social media marketing, how to do business in uh, this and this way, just go and type the same kind of keyword and see on the suggested videos, who is highest on that uh, suggested videos? And the, the guy with the highest number of, uh, the, the highest suggested kind of a guy there, click on him, go to his page and see which are some of his most viewed videos. Now, when you're there, you're already now halfway to exactly what you're talking about. Then, after you do that, you already have exactly the person that you want. So it means so many people are flowing to his channel and they want to watch his videos. So in there, choose one video that he has done so greatly, which has a lot of traffic, which has a lot of videos, and then go to the next step. The next step is create a better and a bigger video on the same topic. Now, we all have mistakes. He has a mistake, he's not 100% perfect. There are some things that you can be able to improve. How? If you want to create a better video, you must create a very catchy intro, introduction. Introduction usually the first 15 seconds. How you're going to interpret, how you're going to speak, because there are, there are guys who speak, who have a very nice video, but the problem is that the introduction will put people off. You'll find that some people, they start off uh, in a very low note and they don't understand the yummy kind of part which is ahead. And when I talk about the yummy part is because the first 15 seconds usually make a YouTuber either people to retain there, to remain there or to move out. So you're going to make something a little bit more creative. You can put in a joke, you can create some uh, different uh, kind of uh, angles of camera and all those kind of things. And of course, um, try as much as you can to also have a longer video. Why am I talking about a longer video? If your competitor has 10 minutes, have about 12 minutes or 13 minutes. Why? Because even if people are going to watch 75% of your video and they watch his 100% uh, video of which nobody will ever watch 100% unless they are really, really specific on, on your video, it will mean that you, you will have a longer watch time. So longer videos perform much more than shorter videos. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So on the second point that I've told you is, make sure you create a very awesome intro, the first 15 seconds. Make the video longer. That's check your competitor if he has 10 minutes or 5 minutes, make it 7. If it's 10 minutes, make it 12 or 13. At least have a longer video. Longer videos end up doing very, very well. And then number three, add pattern interrupts. Pattern interrupts is how do you feel watching a video which is flat from A to Z? Only one angle only one side only one there is no popping there is no words written down and sides and there is no nothing it's just a flat video that video is going to make you feel a little bit you just want to skip because there are millions and millions of videos on youtube why would you stay on something no matter how good the information is but they are not changing the designs and styles of how they are shooting the video so pattern interruption is a very key 
uh, ingredient when it comes to making a good video. So how do you interrupt? You can change things up. You can add some music. You can add some different angles. You can add some fun clips, stories, and things like that so that you can make the video as interesting as possible. Now, you'll be hitting your competitor in his own game. All right? Let's go to point number four. Point number four is optimize your video. When I talk about optimizing is make sure that you copy all your competitors' keywords. What he has spoken in his keywords, just copy and paste. Maybe you can add a few of your own style and of course you can improve them in a better way. But optimize as much as you can. Copy his keywords. Use the, chem the same keywords in title as well. The title, the words that he has used, the keywords that he has used, use the same as well. Copy him and even add on whatever he has. Maybe you might see there is a mistake here or he has lagged behind. Add on top so that your keywords can be better and even bigger than his own, than your competitors. You can use your competitor's description, some parts, not everything. Don't be so obvious. Use some parts of in, in his description so that you can be able to uh, capture people's attention much more because YouTube has a way of uh, suggesting videos, especially videos which uh, have the same similarities in description, keywords, um, title, and different uh, attonations here and there. So they usually suggest they usually suggest so much when they see that kind of similarity. So it is much more easier when you have those keywords, just like your competitors. The video has a higher likelihood of being suggested immediately after his video, all right? And of course, the tags. What tags has he used in the video? So you can copy his tags. Of course, don't copy too many and don't be so obvious like I told you. Copy his tags and add in your video. So the same tags, the description, the keywords, the title, and everything, you're almost, because YouTube is never biased. As long as you do something which is really good and which is following the rules and regulations and their terms which they have been able to put, there is no way that they are not going to suggest that video. They will suggest it and put it right immediately after your competitor's video. And imagine a video of your competitor if it had about 500,000 views or a million views. And anyone who is going there to watch his video, the next video that is being suggested is yours. So how many views are you going to get from just that suggested video? And the final part is create a catchy thumbnail. Thumbnail is everything. So imagine uh, when you type uh, how to make money, for example, and you have found the suggested video that is your competitors, that the one you, you want to copy is using a, maybe a very dull uh, photo, thumbnail. It's just white or maybe there are some thumbnails you'll find they've just written words and stories and things like that. And you find the, 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 the top five thumbnails have no human photo it's just maybe details and maybe mountains and maybe things like that you can change the way your thumbnail looks like so that you can make much more impact to the person who is about to watch so if yours has a human face or maybe yours has a color red a very screaming uh, color contrary to the other thumbnails which are there it is more likely that people are going to be attracted by your by your uh, thumbnail more than they can be attracted by the other thumbnails there. So even if you're number three or number four in the suggested videos after your competitor's video, you're more likely, people are more likely to click on your video. Why? Because your thumbnail has a little bit of difference. It is unique in its own way. So see, where have they done wrong? Put yourself in the shoes of the viewer. If you're the viewer without the mind of I'm creating and all that, what would you likely click on? That is exactly what you need to do. So check your competitor's thumbnail, color, style, improve yours. If there's no face, put a face. If all of them have a face, put something different. So that way you're going to gain a lot of views organically without even pushing anyone, without even doing a paid ad and you're going to become better and you will get even much more views. And as well, you can go to your videos. There are so many videos that we always do and they are in our YouTube channels. All of us as YouTubers, as business, as entrepreneurs, as whichever 
thing that you're doing makeup artist you'll find that there are so many videos you have done which are in your youtube channel and they are not getting views because there's something just which is not adding up you can go and change those settings go and check exactly the same 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 topic who is the most suggested person on the niche that you're spoken about or that you're speaking about in your video and do the changes that I've been able to tell you here and you're going to see magic in that video. It's going to get a lot of suggestion views and something that will trigger people to watch. Hope you really understood something. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe down there and hit that notification button because there's much, much more coming. And I believe if you do so, you'll always be getting new videos every time and you'll be improving yourself in one way or another. Thank you very much. God bless you and have a blessed, blessed day.